All right, howdy. So I'm going to do a little bit of a demo today of an amp that I just got. It's an Orange Rocker Verb 50 Mark II. Um, <clears throat> this one has two EL34s in it stock, but it's switchable in the back so that you can swap in uh, KT88s, 6550s, or 6L6s, uh, which is nice. Probably gives you a little bit of uh, you know room to tailor the sound a little bit, which is cool. Um, it's a two-channel amp, as you see. It's got a dirty channel and a clean. Um, both of them have middle bass and treble, um, and the gainy channel also has a gain knob. Uh, they each have a master or each have a volume, which is nice because you can balance out the sound of the two channels. If you want to switch from clean to dirty, um, you know you can have them the same volume. You can switch them around, and there is a master reverb as well. Um, so that's cool. It also came with, uh, this is actually a store demo that I got, and this one came with, for no charge, an orange FS2 foot switch, um, which, as you can see, you can connect into the back of the amp just using regular guitar cords, and I've got it set up so that the left one turns the reverb on and off, sorry, reverb, Danny, and the right one switches channels. Um, you can do them the other way around if you want, um, but it's a pretty cool little thing. And it and the chassis are both uh, enameled steel, which is really nice. Um, they're very, very sturdy. The amp overall seems very sturdily made. It's very heavy. And it's got an actual choke, um, which is nice to see in a modern amp. Um, I know some of my other newer amps don't come with chokes anymore, so that's nice. Um, so I've got it set up uh, kind of clean on the clean side. <laughs> sounds. Um, and you can hear there's reverb on it. Reverb. That's what happens. We turn it off. It is a very, very deep reverb. Uh, I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but I've only got it on like two out of whatever it goes up to, 10 or 12, because it's a British amp. Um, but, you know, turn it up much past three or four, and it's, you know, you're literally a wash in reverb. So, um, I probably wouldn't wouldn't use it that much. I, I just like a little splash. Split the humbuckers again, turn off the reverb, and I'll switch it over to the dirty channel and give you an idea what that sounds like. Right now, I have the gain set about one o'clock, which is usually about where I set it on an amp like this. Um, but as you can hear,
you can also use this channel uh, and then... <laughs> clean on this side too and is that not working oh he can oh duh hang on it's going to replace your fender for cleans but I have yet to try uh, swapping in uh, 6L6s or anything like that see what that does to it uh, you know to me it's still going to be kind of a British uh, circuit British sounding amp but as you can hear it you know it does martially kind of tones uh, you can probably get some voxy sounds out of it as well and, uh, and it, it will also do kind of a high watt thing so Definitely do recommend it. Um, not a cheap amp. I think they, they sell for over $2,000 uh, at the store. I, I got mine less because, I, as I said, I bought a store demo. Um, and, you know, it arrived, you know, still with the hang tag on it, so it was in fantastic shape. Um, but uh, I've always wanted to try out one. I've got a couple of other um, orange amps here. I started out with the, uh, the little microverb or micro terror and went to the tiny terror um, and like those well enough I decided to uh, take a chance on a bigger one so definitely cool amp check it out if you can 